Madam, the measure on water tariffs, diesel and carbon tax announced at Budget 2017 are targeted and are expected to have a moderate impact on overall business costs, with the impact differentiated across different industries. Utilities costs, which includes water and electricity costs, accounts for a relatively small share of business costs for firms in the services sector, at less than 1% on average for most services industries. Electricity prices are revised every quarter according to prevailing gas prices, which are indexed to global oil prices. There have been a general decline of electricity tariffs over the past three years due to the low global oil price. The current electricity tariffs <coughs> is around 16.9% lower than that in the second quarter of 2014. Case will step up its education efforts to encourage consumers to exercise their choice and make informed purchasing decisions. Consumers can opt to buy from businesses which continue to offer competitive prices and products that cater to their consumption preferences. Case will also keep a watch on price increases and look into feedback on alleged profiteering. Consumers who wish to provide feedback can go through Case's hotline, website, or mobile app. They can also do so through government feedback channels such as REACH. Hence, MTI does not see the, the need to set up a committee to look into profiteering at this point. Madam, the government will continue to monitor the impact of the Budget 2017 measures on industries and calibrate our economic support policies as appropriate. The most sustainable strategy for businesses to manage cost increases and stay competitive is to transform by upgrading capabilities for higher levels of productivity and innovation. Our SMEs can approach any of the 12 SME centres for customised service and advice on business development and how they can tap on government assistance to strengthen their businesses. In particular, Spring's Capability Development Grant, or CDG, provides support for SMEs in building capabilities to grow their businesses by deferring up to 70% of their qualifying project costs. Through the Local Enterprise and Development uh, and the Association Development Scheme, or LEAD, Spring also works with our TACs, Trade Association and Chambers, to strengthen their internal capabilities and the roles they can play in driving industry transformation and growth.